Welcome back to Stalker. So, in this episode, we're going to hopefully stealthily, stealthily assault this uh, compound and rescue this guy who seems to be in distress. Just be very, very quiet. that or not, but uh, I hope they didn't. Pair of parts, artifact, bread, ammo and gun. I think he may have seen me. I don't know. Uh... Crap. I had a dead or rights. He should have. Okay, they've they're bound to know something's up got a shot off. Oh. He went down easy. Saw someone over there. Yeah, on the radar. He definitely was over there. All right. He's got a shotgun, five shotgun shells, a bandage, and some other stuff, and a pistol. I didn't get hit. Ow! Ow! Alright. Bandage our wounds real quick. Sorry, that, that was uh, my phone. brother. I could never thank you enough. Okay. Thanks. You did us a great service. I don't even know how to thank you. Well, listen, I need that flash drive you're taking to the trader. Do you have it? Yeah, I got it. Those morons can't even do a proper search. Well, what the hell? Take it. After all, you saved my life. It was well hidden, but these thugs can't frisk for anything. Ah, well, thanks. Where did you keep it anyway? Who knows? It might come in handy. I didn't keep it there, so don't worry. I worked for the trader for a long time, so I can store information safely. By the way, I to told the thugs a nice little story about a cache full of artifacts, and they ordered one guy to go out there. The cache exists, but it's only got one artifact. I can give you his coordinates if you want. Yeah. 
But don't forget, there's lots of wild animals there. Besides, the gangster they sent is armed with more than a scoop and a shovel, so be careful. Thanks, man. Thanks, too. Problem, good luck. Um, do you have a job for me by any chance? Find a perfected suit. Yeah. While I was in captivity, I heard the bandits talking about their secret stash where they keep the Habar, whatever the heck that is. Heard that they had a cool coat there, and the next day some monster got his eye on the stash. He came so interested in it that now they're afraid to go there. Do me a favor, bring me the suit, and I'll pay you well. Eh, ah, sure, why not? Alright, see ya. So, we're going to do a little bit of a searching around up here. Physics in this game are a little wonky, are a little wonky t at times. Ow. <laughs> yeah, you fall off a building. Now that was something that happened the last, last uh, time I did this was, oh, good to the shooter. Got stash information. I'll talk about that in a little bit here. First off, let's, uh... Across this, uh, walking across some surfaces here, you can definitely tell that uh, the recording quality wasn't quite the best. So we've searched him. How about him? I don't think we searched him yet. So a shotgun, more repair parts, five rounds of shotgun shells, a jellyfish artifact. A diet sausage. More rounds and another pistol. Nothing in this crate on the truck. Nothing in that there. But here. Let's grab some shotgun shells. Nothing on him. Did I search him? Yes, I did. And yes, at this point in the game, you do want to take everything that is not nailed down because you can sell it. And until you get fairly well equipped, um, money is an issue. Another shotgun, six shotgun shells, vodka, some more rounds. So. Pistols. And you can tell condition of weapons definitely varies. This is the best condition shotgun that we've got. So. Turn the flash drive to the trader. Not just yet. So here are we are here we're at. Further summers. Dead stalker stash. Goods of the shooter. Okay, so this is where the suit is. We also have a stash over here. So we're gonna go get this uh, perfected suit. See, we've got these dogs over here, and see this distortion area here? That's an anomaly. Mr. Anomaly is not your friend. Let's see, there's 
to that one over here. Those dogs are not very friendly either. They will go down to a headshot, so uh, if you are playing this game on your own at one point, as long as you're... I know, I'm... So, seems like I'm killing poor defenseless little puppies, but if uh, they're confident enough and they're in great enough numbers, they will swarm and attack you and basically eat you alive before you can blink. Now... That's a pseudo dog, which is actually a much more dangerous version of the regular dogs. But they have a tail that um, is a fairly rare item. Thankfully, we'd found one off of that one, which is a. That's a quest item. They'd both the tail and. Hey, look, the dog's tail is still there, even though we took it. It's like the older video games to the win, huh? Let's go back to our pistol. Actually, we're fairly good now. an anomaly. So they're not friendly. But anyway, um, the little dogs that uh, we shot earlier also have the uh, also have tails you can pick up, which are also fairly rare items. Um, which I'd like to try to get fairly early. Usually, nope. Aha, yep. We will actually need those. Well, I wouldn't say, whoa, careful about the, about the anomaly, mind the gap. But, hmm. That's the boar over there. Um, They're fairly dangerous too. We could probably take them, but at the same time, we just had a pretty good haul and should probably be headed back to the uh, little uh, newbie village. Sound like an explosion or something. That's kind of weird. Whoa, now that was something. You wiped them out and left nothing for us. I'd never believe it. I'd seen it with my own eyes. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes, that blew me away, man. Yep, see ya. Feel free to uh, go take over that uh, now wiped out garage area. Okay, 
It's an old van. It looks like a really old free candy van, huh? Those guys shouldn't bother me, but uh, I'll pull out the shotgun just in case. Said so the shotgun's just your. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is your regular, everyday, average double barrel shotgun. Those guys down there are military. They don't like you. They're armed with automatic weapons and don't like you. Which is kind of weird because uh, they patrol basically right up to the uh, newbie camp, but they never march there, and or they they never march in there and try to clear them out. So. Um, that's weird, but apparently he's not waking up. Yay. So let's speak with Wolf. Oh, I went over the car park of a fine tooth comb. It's all clear now. Tony, you gave him a real beating. Here, take this money, just a memento, not counting her huge gratitude. Uh, plus, I get something else to you. Jellyfish artifact, a med kit, bandages, a Fort 12, which is a new gun. F1 grenade and 9mm round, 9 18mm rounds. Do you need a job? Destroy the boar lair. Okay. Had a stash on here, here not far from the car park, and the forest is more dense. Basically, just what you need. Recently, the boars have made a lair there, and now we can't get to the stash. Help kill them, and I'll thank you for myself and my friend. Sure, I'm up for it. So let's go back to the trader. Well, hello there. Readings marked one. Did you manage? It's all sorted out. Where's the flash drive? Here it is. Ah, you need a job. Bring over the tail of the pseudo dog. We've got one. Winter's coming for soon, and what do chicks like to wear there in the big land during winter? That's right, furs. So now there's a new fashion going around, making various accessories in the tails of pseudo dogs. It's some sort of special fur. Bottom line, there's an order for such a tail. Will you take it? Five. Looks like flechette rounds or something like that, maybe, and then 1,500 rubles. I'm up for it. I got one. Job. Find the jellyfish artifact. We got one. I'm up for it. With the job. Need a job. Find the stoneflower artifact. I'm up for it. Here for the job. But I had one. Special Listen, Mark One. I've done some thinking, and here's what I'd like to offer. Generally speaking, what you really need is to find Strelok, right? Let's assume I do. Anyway, here's the thing about Strelok. There's a stalker that goes by this name. They say he's found a path to the northern reaches of the zone. 
That is a virgin area, a real gold mine for artifacts. Yeah. Anyway, I can help you find him. However, as you can imagine, it won't be a free ride. You'll have to work it off. But in the long run, we'll both benefit. You're going to waste that Strelak fella and find out what happened to you, and I'll find... Uh, well, I mean, I'll get my share of our mutual profit. <laughs> so what do you say? Deal. Go on. All right, listen. You mean business, I can see that. And I... I mean, we need guys like you. We're doing sort of an investigation with some other traders. We want to open up a path to the north, to the center of the zone. And near the center, something or someone is trying to hamper our progress. How the heck this Strelok managed to sneak through, I don't know. You see, there's this one area where your brain starts boiling. An eerie place. Anyway, to cut a long story short, a couple of guys have been spying on those grunts for me, not far from here. Apparently the ones at the Agroprom Research Institute have dug up something, something major. I'm positive it has something to do with the center of the zone. Anyway, whatever they've dug up, it's secured somewhere in the third floor of the Institute. And we really need this stuff. You know what I mean? I think so. Once you have the briefcase, don't bring it here. Take it straight to the barman. He runs the stalker bar at 100 rads. I'll upload the coordinates and all the data you need to your PDA. Clear? Crystal. You'll need to go north through the garbage, then turn west. You'll end up at the Agroprom Research Institute after a few kilometers. And be careful. The radiation level is way too high at the garbage. So I suggest you invest in some anti-rad. Or some vodka. Well, good luck. Okay, so let's see what he has for trade. So he's got some shotgun shells. He's got some better, I'm about 18 millimeter rounds. So we're gonna trade him off. Most of those surplus pistols. I'll trade the Makarov, which we never really used. Trade the extra shotguns, trade the leather jacket. Trade some of the vodka. We could get an MP5, but at the same time, it's expensive and we really can't have, we don't really have access to ammo for it. It's a 9x19mm NATO versus a 9x18 Makarov, so it's not really going to do us much good. We already have the shotgun. We already have the Fort 12. Um, I'm going to buy the good ammo. Med kit. That's, those are really nice shotgun shells, but a little too good to fire out of the basic shotgun here. So I'm going to get some more shotgun rounds too. So. Get some extra bread too. Not bad. Some pretty good stuff you've got there. Dude, answer right. we got to take that. Not bad. Some pretty good stuff you've got there. Now that's the way to go. See ya. Man, it sounds like it's raining outside. Hunting, stalker. It is. So, we're going to go ahead and call it another episode from here. Thanks again for watching, and once again, happy stalking.